Hello, everybody. Welcome to Live at Five here at Broadway.com. It is Friday, December 20th. I'm Beth Stevens. And I'm Andy Lefkowitz. And we're here in the studio with Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. And her jazz hands. And we have a very special guest today. Yes, guys. We have two-time Tony nominee, Alex Brightman, star of Beetlejuice. Woo! Yay! Woo! Yes. <laughs> he loves to cheer himself, and we will talk to him shortly, but first, the top five. This former Vine star is going to be making a, a gruel Broadway debut. Yeah, so we found out that Cameron Dallas will be stepping into Mean Girls on Broadway for a four-week limited run next year. Uh, he'll begin performances on January 14th as Aaron Samuels, stepping in for Kyle Seelig, who will take a brief leave of absence. Uh, Cameron, you might be familiar with Cameron through his huge social media presence. He has over 40 million followers across wow. platforms, Ooh. and he is also a musician who released uh, his first single with Columbia Records last year called Why Haven't I Met You. Uh, so be sure to check him out in Mean Girls next year. Mm -hmm. And this Game of Thrones star is making her West End debut. Ah, Game of Thrones star Amelia Love. Clark. She's going to take on Chekhov's classic, The Seagull, mm -hmm. in the West End in London. She will play Nina. It's, which is a very difficult part, Andy. I don't yeah, know if you know it's that. It's a title Do, role. Is, is she the seagull? She's she a seagull. The seagull. Oh, <laughs> I'm learning so much. Anyway, it's directed by Jamie Lloyd, who is represented on Broadway this year by Betrayal. It begins June 10th at the Playhouse Theater, and opening night is set for June 18th. So look for that. Mm -hmm. Dunder Mifflin is staying open a little bit longer than expected. Yeah, so this is kind of some cool news we got today. Uh, we found out about a month ago that The Office, a musical parody, was going to end its run off-Broadway, but then today they kind of reverted that closing <laughs> and announced that they will now remain open as a completely open run. So uh, this is an off-Broadway production that plays the... The Jer fans had their say. Yeah, they mm -hmm. sure did. Uh, <laughs> it plays the Jerry Orbach Theater at the Theater Center, which is around the corner from our studio here uh so be sure to check out this musical based on the emmy winning series mm -hmm. and this news has me wondering what meal i'll be eating next during intermission <laughs> well that is a confusing thing to say caitlin but what the reason it why she's sense. saying this it'll get there daniel fish yes the Maybe it'll be innovative fish. director is going to take on a different classic musical. He just did Oklahoma, in which Caitlin had some chili and cornbread yes, I did. at yes. intermission. It was delicious. Thank I you very abstained much. from that snack. However, <laughs> he's going to take on the most happy fella. I love that show. And mm. he will mount it July 7th through August 2nd at Bard Summerscape Festival in Annandale on Hudson, New York. Um, and that's where Oklahoma began in 2015. So perhaps there will be food, but there will definitely be a great score. And of course, Oklahoma won the Tony Award for Best Revival this yes. year. Mm -hmm. And we got casting for this world premiere show. Yeah, so today uh, we found out that the new play, 72 Miles to Go, written by Hilary Bettis, uh, has announced its full cast. Uh, this is a show that's going to play Roundabout Theatre Company's uh, Laura Pell's Theatre next year. Uh, the cast is going to include Maria Elena Ramirez, Tyler Alvarez, Jacqueline Guilin, Bobby Moreno, and Trini Sandoval. Uh, Joe Bonney is going to direct this production, slated to kick off on February 13th. Uh, the play follows a splintered family over 10 years of strength, struggle, and love as they face the profoundly personal drama of immigration. So be sure to check this out next year. Also on the side today, we have a fresh face with Samuel Levine, who's in The Inheritance, and a very talented individual, playing two roles in those two plays. And, oh, we and found also we out found out today that Paolo Schott, who won a Tony Award in 2008 for South Pacific, is going to be joining Chicago next year as Billy Flynn. Actually, he'll be joining just as uh, Real Housewives star Erica Jane joins the production as what Roxy. Range? We have an Oscar, we have an opera star, Tony yes. winning opera star, we have a reality TV star. The All range. in one show. That That's show Broadway. Biz, kids. There you go. Yes. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> uh, be oh. sure to keep on looking at Broadway.com throughout the next week because mm -hmm. we have a lot of our best of lists coming at you. But first, I'm going to say goodbye for the last time, yes. Andy, Aww. for 2019, for our final Live at Five. And Caitlin, will you please tell us about our guest, Alex 
Brightman. Yes, gladly. You guys, as Beth just said, we have Mr. Alex Brightman here with us in the studio today because he is currently haunting the Winter Garden as the title ghoul in Beetlejuice the Musical. You guys might have seen him when he previously was at the Winter Garden when he was in School of Rock on the Broadway. He earned a Tony nomination for that. He earned a Tony nomination for Beetlejuice. He's also been in Matilda, Big Fish, Wicked, Glory Days. Come on. It's real. Come on. Follow him on social on Twitter at a bright monster. Leave all of your questions in the comments below. And everyone, please welcome Alex and Beth. Thank you, Caitlin. Yay. Hey, thanks, Caitlin. Hey. Welcome, thanks, Alex. Everybody. The brightest monster there is. Rawr. Rawr. All right, let's see your manicure. Let's, let's get yeah, to doing right. stuff. We're Looking go. good. No, 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 no. <laughs> Looking good. Do not zoom, zoom in, in on the manicure. It is, we want uh, to start with the important it's, issues. It's <laughs> disgusting, and I apologize to my makeup person who has to paint them twice a week because I bite them off Ooh. instantly. He put his hands in his pocket. They will remain oh, there for the rest of the interview. Come on. <laughs> well, Alex, you've done Live at Five before. We've talked to you about Beetlejuice a couple times. Yes. Once or twice, maybe more. You're a final guest of the decade. decade. Feels good. And you're a huge star on Broadway with lots of dedicated fans. So I want you That's to really help nice. us recap 2019. Let's do Wait, it. Should we do it together here? Let's do it, All fans. Right. All right. Because I want to just ask you, because you've had such an incredible year with, with Beetlejuice. Yes. Trying it out doing it on Broadway, Tony Awards, Thanksgiving Day Parade. That was amazing. Um, we have a lot of questions. Getting exhausted as you say that. Like, He's yeah. done so much. It's exhausting. <laughs> He's exhausted. exhausted. <laughs> that I want to just have you think back, and we'll do a little bit of a, a game. I love I'm it. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Just okay. the best of 2019. Great. Ready? Yes. Here we go. Alex Brightman's best of 2019. Okay. Best meal. Best meal. Uh, the Mermaid Inn on the Upper West Side. Uh, and I think it's a quick tie. On Thanksgiving, my wife and I went to Estiatorio Milos for a wildly expensive <laughs> but worth every penny meal. Some of the dishes at these two meals? Uh, at Milos, we had a three pound lobster pasta. I wonder why it was, was so ridiculous. expensive. That's yeah, weird. right. <laughs> um, and then I uh, ceviche that it was uh, unmatched. But at the Mermaid Inn, it's all about the raw bar and um, it's all about the fish tacos, baby. And if you want to see Alex, eating at the Mermaid Inn, watch his time with Susan Blackwell. Yes, or <laughs> just come to the Mermaid Inn, or I'm usually there. Or he's there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the best new friend you made in 2019? The best new friend I made in 2019 was Rob McClure. Um, we had We had circled around each other for quite a while and liked each other's stuff, and uh, and then we got to do the show, and our relationship is so um, grumpy old man, it's, it's or I guess I'm the grumpy old man, but he's... He's such a sweetheart, as you know, yeah. and the, our relationship could be defined by one quick two-second story. On the first night of the DC performance of Beetlejuice, we had run the show, the audience was on their feet going crazy, and at that point, we bowed on the same side. So we're off stage left, mm -hmm. and he's standing there, he turns to me and he goes, I love you, man. And I oh. said to Rob, I love you too, Rob. How many more times do you need me to say it back to you? <laughs> <laughs> and that has defined that our relationship. Sums it up. There you go. And I cannot wait to see him miss his outfire. I just texted him on his first performance, and oh. I just can't wait. He, I'm so excited about like the raves he's getting. Not that that surprises me no, one bit. He's but yeah, best. I would say Rob McClure and my wife. And <laughs> Great. That's good. That's going to cover all the bases. They're very diplomatic. Yeah. My brother, my family. Best song of 2019. Oh, that's a great question. Um,. Did Baby Shark come out this year? It was popularized this year. You could call it the song of the year. <laughs> Just for the sake of my niece, Baby Shark. You want to perform any of it? I don't. Us? Okay, no. Okay, good. No. Um, best item you bought. Oh, that's an easy one. I just bought it. <laughs> There's a, a new machine by Keurig that just came out called Drinkworks, and it is a Keurig for cocktails. Oh, and it, what? It, is, it sits in my, it sits in my uh, corner office, my dressing room at the Winter Garden Theater. You pop a pod in. They have liquid pods with alcohol in them. What? You close the door. You press, uh, uh, you press start, and in 20 seconds, it makes you a bartender-style cocktail. I'm talking old fashions, mojitos, margaritas, oh. vodka sodas, 100 cal. Okay, thank you. That's helpful. <laughs> um, That's and they helpful. do white Russians. And all, it's all not powder, not anything. You don't need alcohol. You just need water. And it refrigerates it. It comes out cold. Everyone is, at the theater is like, after the show's over, just limed up now <laughs> uh, at my, my dressing room. Not every night. Not everybody. Not every night. No, but Not it's an amazing, I mean, it really, truly is an That's amazing product. Amazing. It's amazing. Okay, best that. gift you received? Um, let's see. Of the whole year. The mm. whole year. Right. Um, I got to go with, I got to go with my wife. 
Um, she's not the gift. She is the gift, but that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> she just uh, gave me for Christmas a, uh, 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 we'd like to do meals together a lot. Mm -hmm. So she sort of picked a date and we're going to go to uh, the Grill, which is the Chop House, the Four Seasons one, the one that's like uh, famous for a number of reasons, but it's just, we love steak and Chop House stuff. And so come January, we'll be doing a big fancy no I really bar. thought you were going to say the dog socks, but that's fine. The what? The socks. The socks you got. Didn't you get socks? I did get socks for my, <laughs> I should mention that I got socks for my brother-in-law. Josh, truly I mean, one of the best gifts ever. My my dog's face on them, um, which is, again, you never know the I mean, it's the only one that made your Twitter feed, so that's why <laughs> that's I'm right. here. <laughs> but I'm on the spot here. But yes, those, yes. that is a great we gift. We really are putting you on the spot, and you're being so game, so thank Sorry, you I for love that. It. Okay. I love it. <laughs> best movie of the year? Oh, Call it now. damn. Ooh. Best movie of the year. You know, this is going to be controversial because I it's a type of genre that I just love. Um, I want to say, only because it's fresh in my mind, I'm sure I'll think of something later that's going to be better. We just um, we just finished It Part 2. Oh. And I thought it was great. <laughs> it had, for all of its, like, you know, people say it was flaws, I thought it was excellent, like, big budget blockbuster horror storytelling. And the casting was impeccable. So I loved it. I love that kind of stuff. And coming in at a close number two would be Leslie Kritzer's vlog in which she explores oh my God. the cat's <laughs> legacy I at the Winter I can't watch Garden that. Theater. It's too scary. Too scary. It's too scary. Scarier than it. Yeah, way Correct. too scary. Okay. The attic. Madge, uh, part two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was difficult to watch. I understand. Yeah. Um, it's celebrity who came to see Beetlejuice. That favorite? Mm-hmm. Um, Not that you can pick one, but you know. Oh, some Memorable. really good ones. Uh, you know who was so nice? Brooke Shields. Oh, Broadway alum. She was alum. so nice and so funny and um, charming, and there's no sense of I got to get out of here, which mm. I love because there's just it feels, you know, if you want to come back, feel free to come back, but don't feel like you're obligated to. Mm. Uh, they, that was great. I got to meet Adam Scott, who's like a comedy hero of mine, so getting to chat with him was excellent. Um, he didn't come back, but Adam Sandler saw our show for this. For, uh, it's, oh, wow. Now he's seen me twice in the Winter Garden Theater, so I'm very proud of that. Um, yeah, come I don't back, know. Adam. Katy Perry He'll make was you cool. a drink with the <gasps> Katy Perry. Yeah, oh. Katy Perry was cool. She came right after the Met Ball, so that was like she was oh. like you know, she said she was like, I was so tired in this show, like woke me the hell up. <laughs> and she was really super nice, and she got to ride the sandworm. There's a picture of it on the online somewhere. I didn't know that was up uh, available. Yeah, rides on the sandworm. <laughs> Apparently, they're available. VIPs only. Okay. <laughs> best podcast. Uh, best podcast still has got to be you made it weird with Pete Holmes. Good one. Good one. Yeah. Memory from the Tony Awards? Um, this one? <laughs> just kidding. I'm not, uh, just joking. Um, memory from the Tony Awards was, uh, I was upstairs washing my Beetlejuice makeup off because we had just performed, mm -hmm. and I got to watch on screen, which I didn't matter where I was, I got to watch one of my dear college friends, Ali Stroker, win the Tony. Amazing. And I burst into tears and had to re-wash my face after that. Um, I continue to be ridiculously proud of her from the moment we met. She's one of the first people I met in New York, um, and one of the first people I had a crush on in New York. She knows this. She knows. Um, wow. No, but I, I, I get choked up when I think about it now. It just was like, for the moment in general, but just for a friend, you're like, how could this get any better? That's amazing. Oh. Yeah. We were all choked up. She's I the greatest. It. Okay, you might still be choked up because the next question is <laughs> stage mishap. <laughs> um, I mean, we've been really thankful not to have a ton of like stage mishaps. Um, you know, every once in a while, oh, I can't reveal that. I'm sorry. I mm -hmm. was going to say something, but it's going to reveal a magic trick, so I'm not mm -hmm. going to do it. Okay. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, keep the secrets. The, yeah, keep the secrets. <laughs> you know, I will say this. The, I've had three mishaps, and they're all the same mishap, but it, it's, it's, I'm pretty much batting average pretty good. There's a part in the show where I pick on somebody in the show three times. I say, this guy knows what I'm talking about. This guy knows what I'm talking about. This guy knows. And they're all kind of like pretty cruel things to say to somebody. Mm -hmm. And three times, I've picked the wrong person. Oh. And one time, I accidentally picked a woman. <laughs> Oops. Mm. And it wasn't because I just was like, I was out of it. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't mm. focused enough. And I picked and I just started the show by saying, uh, and you'll never reach your goal weight because you eat when you're sad. This woman knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then that was like an uphill battle for the, me to be charmed by the audience. <laughs> <laughs> it was not good. <clears throat> That's a, not of a, good. that's a bit of a, that that's a bit of an me. oops. That one will wake me up in the middle of the night right, sometimes. We're going to wipe that one away yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. with okay. our favorite Presley Ryan TikTok. <laughs> and there are only like two million of them. <laughs> I still don't have TikTok. That's the best part about this. I'm on, I'm apparently all over it. And I'm you not. are, you are well, very much all over it. I think my favorite one is 
one that we <laughs> did, the Heather's one. Oh yeah. Because I think I don't I st I have never seen Heather's and I heard it's quite good <laughs> and it's also very popular yes. on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So I think that was a cool mashup and that seems to be the one that a lot of people chat about. People mention it at the stage door and things. They mention it I constantly. Mean, all, only every day, every five minutes. <laughs> okay. What else? We're gonna be serious, and okay. then we'll do our last one, sure. and then we'll take your questions. Sure. Okay. Lesson from 2019. Uh. I think that. Let me think about this for like one second. I think it's good. I don't mind dead air for like two seconds. Sure, Caitlin can Let's do Let's all think about this while Let's I think all, about it. Let's have a moment. Because there are plenty, but I, I want to make this yeah. good. Um, okay, this is an important one. Uh, my, the lesson to, that I've learned this year, and many years, but really galvanized this year with many people, talent is subjective, but niceness, kindness, and generosity never goes out of style. I love it. I love it. Kindness That's matters. Really okay. It's a renewable currency. I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's <clears throat> come up with a hashtag. To uh -huh. sum up your year. Okay. Um, uh, or a couple if you want. Okay. Hashtag don't evict Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll get that trending. Truth. Hashtag no lies detected. Hashtag please give us a home. No. Um, uh, hashtag be nice to one another. Hmm. Hashtag tip your waitresses and waiters. Mm -hmm. Hashtag, uh, hashtag, uh, get the more expensive meal. You deserve it. True. It's a long hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> That's the full 140 characters. Hashtag, uh, medium well is not a temperature. <laughs> if you're gonna order your steak medium well, don't go to a steak restaurant. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting Kyle's behind the for you. Yeah. I, this it's sums amazing. up a fantastic year for you. I'm so glad. I've and had a really fun year. It's really been fun. Mm -hmm. It's been fun watching you. Yeah, it's, it's had a good time. All right, we're going to take your questions, Caitlin. No, I'm there's sorry. We, no, there's there's a lot of questions, but we actually just got some news. So okay. we, this only actually just happened like two weeks ago for the very first time. You don't even know what I'm about to say. So guys, <laughs> I um, think this is good. But. This <laughs> I'm really nervous. Hopefully, this is the last time this happened, but. The, vo the votes have been tallied, guys. And your star of the year, the whole star of the year, is in our presence right no now. No way. Alex Brightman is the star of the year! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my. This is why. This is why. This is why. Thank you so much. Dwayne Reed receives. <laughs> Oh my God! All right. Thank you so much. Wow. As you can tell, well, first of all, thank you very, very much. Um, that is super nice. Caitlin made this herself. Oh my God! Look I at how that. professional this looks. Look at how professional I this looks. Really hard. It's keeping in the Beatles. It says like 2015. No. On it. um, it's really hashtag Alex Brightman is the Broadway.com star of the year. Yes. That's super nice. I, I mean, I look and I. The I, fans have spoken. I fans have really spoken. Really appreciate that. So That's, we're gonna I put love... you on the spot one more time. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. This Give is your great. Give your acceptance speech. Go ahead. Where do I do it? Here. Yes. Hey everybody, it's Alex Brightman from Glory Days. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to say uh, I don't do theater because I like money. I don't do theater because I like applause, a little bit. But I don't do uh, theater for any other reason other than to make people happy, including myself. Um, and so I really appreciate that you like the thing that I like to do and would do for free. So I really appreciate uh, anybody who has said hi, anybody who has uh, tapped me on the shoulder to tell me that they like the things I do, and anybody who is inspired to do things because I've done them. Uh, you equally inspire me, so thank you. It does not. Uh, it does not weigh light on my heart. It is nice to know, truly. Uh, thanks. I, I could not believe this if I was like eight years old that I'd be doing anything that I'd be doing right now. So I really do think that is all due to you, not a little bit due to me, all due to you. So I really appreciate you just liking the things that I find funny, but thank you. Oh, you're just the best, Alex. <laughs> it's you're true. You asked me to do it. I was like, also, if you're eight years old, you might make something like this. Yeah, well, now I wish hey. you would have given me a better crown. <clears throat> I tried really hard. <laughs> we did what we could. I'm flabbergasted that that's now, a real thing. I think it's because of Thank your you. campaigning. Yes, I did do <laughs> you did campaign. I did. Can I say, though, I hope that you all know that that was me joking around. 
No, I, th- I thought that Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> you talk it to worked. Aaron Tveit and even Nob Lozada, and they don't want it. Apparently. That's right. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and then you said you would quit showbiz if you didn't win. So, yeah, I guess so people I guess want you're me to still stay. Have to keep doing st- it. You know, they keep pulling me back in. <laughs> I'll be here. Oh, we're glad. We're glad. And yeah. I'll be doing Take Me Out after this, so it's be fun. The play, Take Me Out. Okay. I'm gonna reveal that right. to you everyone now. Okay. Exclusive. Thank you. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, like, I just like to make stuff up yeah. and see how that goes. You want to? Because then he would have to get naked. I'm just saying. Listen, but if I don't get if I don't get to do Take Me Out, I will quit show business. Oh. <laughs> Is this how you handle things when you're like seven? Yeah. <laughs> Quitting show business. You said we go to McDonald's. <laughs> Quitting show business. Yeah. I want to thank you. I want to wish you a happy new year. I thank you. I want to thank you. This is so cool. Yay. Thank your fans. Guys, we will see you in 2020. Have a great decade, y'all. Mm-hmm. Uh, Caitlin, take us on out. For sure. the last time this year. For the last time. I'm gonna... Yeah, you look super normal. <laughs> no, I'm just going gonna, gonna <laughs> to leave this on. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Live at Five today and for all of 2019. You guys can uh, check us out uh, when we come back in the new year slash new decade. We will be doing Live at Fives every single weekday here on Facebook. You can listen to us where we get your podcast by searching for hashtag live at five. Guys, have a wonderful holiday season. Have a great new year. And we will see you in that first full week of January. Yay!